turn it up, throw down your motherfucking door. Uh. All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy here, Blaze Wolf Gaming HD, and um. Well, this is sort of a new video. If you remember that floating village tr trick that I showed you guys, well, I decided to take that floating village and pimp it out. Now, I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have a picture of the floating village to, show, to compare with this. I didn't really change much. I just added a little bit of stuff here and there. And, uh, mm, uh, wait, but that part over there, I'm going to save that for last because it's sort of a funny part over there. That part right there, that's, that's a funny thing that I just added because it seemed pretty funny. But let's, so first, let's get started where I started off everything. So, I just had to log in and I decided to abandon the old thing and you know how there's always a dock at a base and everything at a village and everything so i made a ship and um no it is not the best ship this is like the ugliest thing i've ever seen in my entire life even a villager hanging on the freaking sail and then i added like the little the thing the little things here and there just like little little tiny things that make it look a little bit more detailed and um well i kind of just went on from there my ideas just like sprouted out from watching some other people's videos, like J Jaracraft, I watch him a little bit. I don't know if anyone else does, but I watch him, and he does some pretty cool stuff with his builds. He just adds, like, that extra detail to his builds, which just makes it come out. Like, it makes the builds come out like nothing else. So I tried to do that. I tried to do that here and there, like, ships come in, they come to the market, sell their stuff, and they leave, and it'll be p pretty busy around here, like, over here, which I have no idea what's going on, oh, there's a zombie in my village, I did, I forgot to fence up a piece of my village, and where are my freaking guardians at, I swear I put down freaking iron golems to guard the freaking village, um, well, I guess I'll block off freaking Zombie Central over here. Keep the freaking zombie from spreading to the others. Nope. Now that the zombie is now contained, we can unblock freaking the shipyard this it yeah that's what i'm gonna call it for now the shipyard the it's more of like a a, a drop-off type area now i see why they're all running around but why is there so much stuff going on with my freaking village freaking water over here i don't, I don't even know that. oh come on a freaking creeper do that there's a baby zombie over there but yeah i started off over there the houses all of them are the same i didn't want to change them because they seem pretty natural uh i kind of just blocked off the two only entrances except for this one because that's sort of like the main one but uh this is relatively a very short video so now on to this thing over here and why i have it all fenced off this the man that lives over here in this village He's like that old man in, like, cartoons that just, like, doesn't like kids at all. He doesn't like people or kids around his property. So what he decided to do was come over here and build a fence to keep everyone else out. But apparently this guy doesn't really give a crap, and he decided that he's just gonna walk up in there anyways. He's, he, I guess he's freaking thug or something. Oh, never mind, he was just stuck. But he's still on the dude's side, but I guess the dude's freaking thug or something now. Uh, put thug life on the freaking screen But yeah other than that that's pretty much it so I'll see you guys in the next one I guess peace Drop top smoking no cooking the hot box